Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing Maybe I should take that advice, go get a life Or maybe get a job or something Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing Or maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming yeah. Hey guys, how you going? Thanks for tuning in again and um, today we're going to do another drawing swap because I do like it and I enjoy swapping it. So from my last video, as you saw, we built this little puppy. Uh, it is a little three inch uh, freestyle quad. However, today I'm going to do next part up and trying to make further changes. So. Bought this ProTech 35 and some motors as well. So we've got four motors. Actually, before we start to get to the motors, we we'll open this baby up. So, unboxing. I get some stickers. Uh, and some instructions. Rocking. And this is the frame so we've got some prop guards pretty cool protect 35 has 3.5 inch a uh, propellers so this is a cool stickers there as well let's get to that let's pop all this out and then show you what's inside okay so enjoy it hopefully you I'm keep on looking at my screen, so don't mind me. Okay, so we've got a carbon fiber frame. And um, it looks pretty thick, actually. It looks about four mil, um, if not even more. Yeah, interesting. So um, it looks pretty cool, I must say. It's, uh, it's an interesting design, and I do like the look of it. So this is the top plate. Got a couple of uh, TPU printouts for the bottom as well. So we've got antennas, motors, prop guards, GoPro mounts. Look at this, this is pretty cool. Have a look at this, uh, I might open it. So you can actually attach a full mount GoPro onto this. So um, here we go, nice. And, Let's have a quick look at the motors. So these motors are um, 4S motors, and they are 2203.5, 2500 KB. Where are we? Um, must say they're pretty cool. They're Xing motors, so there's four of them. And um, yeah, so we're gonna pop this out, use the flight controller out of this, and um, Hopefully we can fit this air unit inside as well. So um, there's my little cool remove before you flight, funky thing. And um, yeah, um, a couple of other things here, but yeah, hopefully um, I'm not gonna run into too many problems like those motors. All right, let's go. Okay, putting a quad together, best way to start off from the motors and work your way in towards the flight controller. Uh, these motors have really nice TPUs on the bottom. I used uh, skids and also uh, wire protectors as well from any propeller hits or anything like that as well. So I just wanted to show you the other quad that I put together and um, you can see that the flight controller is there and the air unit, the GI air unit too. We're gonna use that to the new build. Okay, so it's been a few days now uh, since I started this little project uh, of mine. And basically, a um, few stuff ups. First thing that went wrong, I've used my uh, flight controller and uh, ESCs. Um, so have a quick look at this. So this basically, focus, um, these are the two components. Now, when I pop them into the actual uh, frame itself, what happens is once everything stacks up on top, the air unit doesn't fit anymore. And, um, and the problem is obviously the frame is too narrow for that double flight controller. So 
I had to um, purchase a new flight controller, which is, um, it's called iFlight, iFlight Beast. And now this flight controller is all in one. So we're talking about ESCs, so bring close up to the camera. Um, so you got the ESCs and then all the bits and pieces, all the controllers uh, for LEDs, buzzers, whatever you want to do. Um, so that's an all, one, all in one. So that basically replaces both of these to, to one of those. And the, and the reason why it's obviously for that frame, um, it fits perfectly and the air unit goes on top as well without any issues. So there you go. Uh, also I forgot to mention uh, that um, when I've ordered this frame from Amazon, what happened was they gave you a suggestion on what motors to use and all that sort of stuff. And I, without thinking about it too much, I've actually got those motors and they were wrong. So um, those motors uh, here, they need an M2 screw to basically pop them in. So I'll, um, I'll pop all of these in and now they're basically holding nice and fine. The Xing motors are 2205 at 3200 RPM or 3200 KV. And um, normally they would put 3600 KV motors. So basically what the KVs mean is they spin a little bit slower. I mean, it's still pretty fast, yeah, but it's a little bit slower. So potentially it will give you a longer flight time. Now, if um, the only thing is obviously they're not, they're not gonna give you that extra punch out and extra a uh, power if you need it to. Senior whoops are made for nice and slow flying and pretty much cruising. Uh, you can do some nice dives with it, things like that. But I mean, you're not gonna be doing tricks like a five inch, you know? So when I grab my five inch, so my five inch is basically a, that is a beast, you know what I mean? So that's an iFlight Nazgul 5. Um, and basically that will give you a lot more flips and other things as well. So, but um, yeah, the Senior Whoop is obviously totally different characteristic of flying. If you're thinking about cars, for instance, comparing them to drones, think of it as a, having a four wheel drive a, a speedster or like in you know, a really fast one or something like that then you've got a cruiser then you've got a i don't know maybe <clears throat> or a sports car or whatever else yeah so think of drones in that sort of sense so the um i guess the senior whoops would be more of a slower flying more of a four-wheel drive type of car um and then that will give you you know the, the protection of obviously bumping and everything else as well so that's pretty much uh, what what I um, yeah what I was talking about. So this is the um, prop guards, and you can see them from top probably a bit better. Um, but yeah, they obviously sit nicely here. The 3.5 inch, uh, so they're a little bit bigger than normal three inch. Um, but yeah, all right. Let's continue with the build, and hopefully we can put this flight controller in. And uh, what did I put it there? We go. Uh, so let's hopefully put this flight controller in. And um, hopefully um, it's not going to give me um, much trouble, I hope. So I'm um, just soldering everything on, all the um, motors into the speed controllers, power, and, um, and then obviously the air unit just will connect straight into um, that little port there. And uh, programming it and hopefully no worries. So let's continue on with the build. Okay, so I just wanted to point out that every flight controller has a little arrow at the front and um, this is the front of the quad itself and you should put that, make sure that it's facing towards the front of the uh, drone and um, yeah, get all that connected, uh, secure the flight controller and make sure that it's all nicely secured so you can start soldering. Next, what I want to show you is the capacitor. Uh, what the capacitor does, it potentially provides power, clean power to your flight controller. Now, the top part there with a the little line is a negative, and just make sure that you wire up correctly. Um, if you don't, they will you will not be able to get clean power to your flight controller. Okay, so the next step is to tin all the pads. 
that will make sure that you can connect and solder everything nicely be very careful not to touch in your electronics as well and you just have to do that a few times to make sure that all the pads are ready to go not the cleaner soldering but uh, it's pretty hard to get the bigger uh, pads uh, nicely soldered in so ESCs look okay but uh, power is quite tricky to do so Additionally, I have attached buzzer and also an LED light to the flight controller. Here is a network diagram to show you how to connect everything. So here's a quick look on the buzzer. The buzzer is a self-powered buzzer with a battery. And basically that will sound really nice and loud to be able to find the quad. Here's the LED light at the back. And final few things. So we're attaching the air unit to the quad itself. The air unit sits nicely on top of the little legs that are poking out of the frame and it gets squashed from the top and the bottom plates together with a little foam in between. And finally I've purchased some MMCX92SMA connectors and they will extend the antennas to the rear of the quad itself. Here's a quick diagram on different varieties and the names as well. And the very last thing to do is to jump onto the iFlight share drive, download the factory dump that is relevant to your quad and download the txt file and then pick the correct one and copy and paste it into the CLI in beta flight. You can find the link on the bottom of the video. Okay, so we finished building Protec 35 iFlight Protec 35 uh, and it was a fun build learned heaps of new stuff and also uh, built this uh, little beast from scratch and it was fun i enjoy it um so flight time uh with a 4s 1.6 amp hour battery uh i'm getting approximately five minutes flight time with no gopro with the gopro approximately 3.5 minutes which is probably not that long however I th i'm hoping to put a uh, 6s tune on this and um, and hopefully get a little bit longer flight time uh, with the 6s battery hopefully um, so those motors can handle 6s batteries 4 and 6s batteries and um, yeah I um, want to show you a couple really cool um, LED at the back back there so that is really cool um, let me unplug it because I there we go um so the controller wasn't plugged in so it's obviously not registering so but now the beeper like i mentioned in the past it keeps on uh going because it's got a built-in battery so to turn it off plug it in again and then dismantle it and it's ready to go uh so yeah thanks guys for tuning in again enjoy some more flying after this and uh just from a local park and hopefully tune in for a little bit more videos in the near future. So Melbourne's still not in the lockdown and I'm hoping to do some really cool uh, long, long flying uh, further out, out of Melbourne, and just to show you the countryside. Thanks guys, all the best, ciao. Yeah. All my exes just drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Baby, I should call and say, told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion of mine, you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud